Hi, we're here with AGO and D Director and CEO Stefan Yost. Stefan is celebrating his first anniversary at the AGO, so we thought we'd ask him 20 questions rapid fire. Go. You ready? Yep. Okay, as of today, it's been a full year since you moved to Toronto from Honolulu and took over the AGO. Do you feel like a Torontonian yet? Almost always, but not always. What's your favorite thing about the city so far? Other uh, people. Uh, Raptors, Jays, or Leafs? Uh, Raptors. I got a chance to sit in a front row seat at a Raptors game. Did you see Drake there? I did not, but I'm not sure I would have recognized him if I would have. Drake or The Weeknd? The Weeknd. Why? Um, I'm going to pass on that because <laughs> I don't want to pass any judgment on Drake. He's got a good sense of style. Right. You know who not to uh, make angry in Toronto. Oh, yeah, but he's also really, really good at what he does, so hats off. Streetcar or bike? Definitely streetcar. I don't want to get killed, um, and I love bike riding, but I reserve that for the countryside. And favorite restaurant? Uh, Queen Margarita Pizza on Dundas, because they're good with six-year-olds, but um, it's not like the finest of dinings. I, 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 there's other places I go for that. Do you have one that's like on your bucket list? For uh, Toronto. I want to do dinner at the place at the top of the TD Tower. What's that called? It's really good. It's Canadian food. Um, it's really lovely. Canoe. Canoe. Canoe for dinner. I've only been there for lunch. Favorite park? Uh, Trinity Bellwoods, but after July 1st, it's going to be Grange Park because it's amazing what the AGO is doing to the, our park. What's your most Toronto moment so far? Most Toronto moment? Um, you know, I always feel real Toronto when I get my hair cut at... Um, there's Bellwood Barbers. I go there, and for some reason, it just is. Everybody's from Toronto. It feels local. What's your favorite season in Toronto? Well, summer, of course. I just wish it was 12 months a year, like Honolulu. <laughs> what's uh, what's something that you want to do this summer? Uh, slow down, but also do more. Um, I kind of, I want to go out for drinks more and kind of hang out on patios and things do like that. Do you have a favorite patio in uh, Toronto? Barraval, yeah, it's right right by where we live. Um, oh, you got to focus on this guy here. There's this guy, Tommy Hunter, in accordion. It's um, a, a, a work by an Inuit artist. Um, Putaguk is the last name. And I didn't know who Tommy Hunter was last year. When you travel, what do you miss about Toronto? Um, the diversity, the cultural diversity. It also depends where I am. You know, in New York, um, I miss the civility of Toronto when I'm there because it's so aggressive in New York. But um, when I'm some other places, I, I, I miss other things. What's one thing you miss about Honolulu? Uh, the people. The people in Honolulu are amazing, amazing, decent, kind people. The weather's good, too. Uh, and what has surprised you the most about the AGO so far? Surprised me most? Uh, the lack of confidence. <laughs> Do you think that's a Canadian thing, as an um, American? Well, uh, maybe. Maybe. Or maybe it's just the lack of confidence. <laughs> What's the thing you're most proud of so far? Um, getting 640 people on staff to walk generally in the same direction. Uh, what's the thing that, uh, what's an exciting moment that comes to mind? Uh, Wednesday night, every Wednesday night. We have three to 6,000 people here. They're young, they're cool, they're hip, they're happy. Um, and it makes me proud that we can help. What's the biggest challenge, in your opinion? Um, failure of imagination. Uh, favorite spot in the gallery? Uh, the Moore sculpture area, although I'm falling in love with this area too. Um, this is our reinstalled of our uh, modern contemporary. Yeah, Look Forward is a major reinstallation um, of the AGO collection. Can you describe what made you um, decide to do it? Well, it was in basement and storage. And we have 90,000 things in the collection. There's gigantic storage rooms underneath, two floors down underneath the AGO. And there are many masterpieces, and so we're just bringing them out. Can you show us a piece that you're really excited for people to see in this room? Yeah, uh, this is a Giacometti. It's a unique cast. He's a Swiss modernist who lived in Paris. And right behind it is one of the best Picassos ever. It's like three people merged into one. But let's, let's keep on going here. Okay. Uh, what, how did curators come up with their vision for each collection gallery? Oh, it was pretty simple. I just asked each curator to pick 100 of their best works of art and um, got a list. And it's an extraordinary list of, I didn't tell them what best was. I figured they had the education and knowledge to know that. And so over the next year, we're reinstalling everything. And there's things that have never been on view before, like this beautifully Richet painting, or sculpture, and um, she's kind of kind of amazing. And is there anyone you want to give a shout out to for making your first year at the AGO memorable? There are three people in particular, and they all work in the director's office. Aaron, Sue, and Amanda, and they make my life sane and enjoyable. Okay, last question. All right. Ready? Describe your first year in one word. A riot, and I mean that in a great way. Okay, thanks, Stefan. Thank you. Congrats on your first year. It's been a pleasure and a team sport.